You again? Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? Huh? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. bad. I've been trying to figure out if there was anything more I could have done with it, but... Doesn't really matter if you get picked or not anyway. Yeah, but still... You put a lot of work into this. Did you put a lot of work into this? Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? You all dolled up and mm. fabulous. Where are you headed? Well, what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. Huh. Hey, I see the way you're looking at her. I was looking to confirm what I already knew. There is no one hotter than you. Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? Hey, she must not have a lot of money to spend. Oh. I give her a B and that dress is completely overshadowed. Oh, it's such a beautiful Why are we here? To see the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Hey, are you just Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? 
The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. It costs a small fortune, but it'll totally be worth it to see her smile just once. I've dreamt of this moment. The honey bee in. Oh. And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself. Our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! <laughs> Delicious! Fabulous! Mister, move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Come on, come on. The show's about to start. <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> you? Now you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's blushing. Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Think you can follow my lead?
Keep it up, Cloud. Work it. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! for this. Expression of the heart. A thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid, Cloud. That show today blew my mind! Hey, look at me! I can dance too! How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. I'll buy it you was a amazing. Drink. We can talk. Was it planned from the start? Probably not. Did you see their oh, look of surprise? Wow. Now that was a show. I'm gonna Cloud. You heard Cloud. Such Cloud. Is the Hello. Spice of life. Wouldn't you agree? Aerith to Cloud. Come in. Please don't. Not a word. Not even one? No! But you're so pretty! One hot chick. No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madame M. That ought to do the trick, right? 
You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? Man, she's hot. Hey, hands to yourself! That Andrea's girl? I'd let go her to your room to and wait. Quietly. Room's at the end. Keep walking. so dizzy gas uh, uh? come on I know, thank you. Moving on. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. Hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized, I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Listen up! 
I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. Hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! I've got it! I've got it! Today's bride to be is... Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you! I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah, we! Okay. Okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. So, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> Good job, Aerith. It was nothing compared to you. 
Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts, your gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Better hurry. Better hurry. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time with girls like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. Cat and bird. cat. Come on, this one's for you. How much time? Bring it. You ain't seen nothing. <laughs> No surprises there. What are you doing here? Go on! Hey, yeah. you here he comes! <laughs> One more shot! Ah. Get him! Oh. Ha. This one's for you! Ha. That's it! Yeah. One more shot! Ha. Get him! Too this late! Can't be it. And we're safe. <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes! Yes, I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> ah! <laughs> hey! Who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners, too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <laughs> oh. 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 So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Yeah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. 
you know. See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? When they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> Are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Damn it, Reeks. Tifa? Get back to the slums right now. Yeah. I didn't want to drag Aerith into all this. She'll understand. How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it. Sure, there isn't something else going on? Mm.
that. Bring it on. Show you what I can do. Tagging out. My turn. Gotcha. Duty calls. Lives down here, or it was probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what, right? Mm -hmm. 
Hmm? Uh, Tifa! I knew it. These tunnels are all connected. What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche thing, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity, in emergencies. Sure we're not lost? Positive. There should be a big waterway just up ahead. Let's find that first. Lead the way. Piece of cake. Buzz off. You're mine. That's, that. That's the way to do it. We're under that, so... I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? Worked up a good sweat. Bring it. Let's finish this. Is it safe to go through here? It's really dark. I'm sure we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, Cloud. Assuming Corneo was telling us the truth, what do you think Shinra's really up to? I mean, they've got to have an endgame. But I can't imagine what it is. Destroying a whole chunk of the city just to get back at us doesn't make any kind of sense. Yeah, I can't imagine any way they could profit from it. It's gonna cost them a fortune to rebuild. Corneo's lying. He's gotta be. Guys like him do it all the time out of habit. That's a power generator, all right. Wow. Talk about ancient. It's an antique. Older than the Mako reactors, even. It'd be a miracle if it still works. Hey, 
Would you look at that? <sighs> and let there be light. Locked up tight. <sighs> but not if we use the skeleton key Jesse made. Huh. Does this mean it's in the water? We'll see. Won't be tough. You're done. That's it. Going in. Glad that's over. Is it? Wait a minute. I know this place. Sector 7 should be just on the other side of this waterway. So this is where Sector 6 ends. And where Sector 7 begins. Once we cross over, we can start looking for a way back to the surface. That'd be harder than you think. Let's just try to make our way down this tunnel. See if we can't use those gates to clear a path. We can do this. We'll figure it out. Yeah, for sure. This won't take long. That's all. Yeah. It's over. Stay back. Hey. Bye. So long. <sighs> Moving on then. This won't take long. Not long. Let off. Closure. Ready or not? Yeah, keep eyes open. Time to end this. Gotcha. Go on. Hang back.
This won't take long. That's all. <laughs> That's it. Let's finish this. Huh? Oh. So tired. Yeah. So it's my turn. Here it comes. <sighs> <sighs> Moving on then. Try to stay behind me. That way I can cover your back. Bring it! Go on! Let's do this. Get him! It's over. And we're safe. first, okay? <sighs> Damn it. I can't stop thinking about what Corneo said. I know. Me too. It's gotta be a trick. There's no way they'd go that far. But... But what if Corneo really was telling the truth? We have to get there in time to stop it. We have to. Right. Hmm. <sighs> Aerith, what are you not telling me? Huh? Uh... Guys, come on. We gotta keep moving. Coming! I'll go first. Mm. On my way. Here we go. Almost there. me <laughs> least I could do hear that cloud <laughs> come on Thinking about the plate? Yeah. The future isn't set in stone. That's what I always tell myself. Yeah. I hope you're right. 
How about this then? Think of something fun. After saving Sector 7, you're gonna... I'm gonna... Go shopping. Topside. I'll buy stuff for the bar. Decorations. Coasters. Can I come? You'd better. Then it's a date. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud can carry all our stuff. He'll be our pack chocobo. <laughs> what was that about me? Nothing. Sorry about that. No need to be. be the way out I wonder there must be some way we can lower the water level <gasps> guys check it out seventh heavens water tank has something similar I'm betting we can use this to control the sewage level hey cloud you want to give it a try? This ought to drain the water. Right? No luck? It must be busted. A red light indicates a blockage, apparently. We can use the hand pump to clear the blockage. Sounds about right. I remember having to do this at the bar before. All right. I'll... Aerith, you mind giving me a hand? Cloud, you stay put. Keep an eye out for more red lights. Wait, I'm not sure... Trust me, this is the best way to handle it. We'll be back soon. Maybe this is a little different from the one at the bar. More... industrial? Spectacular! 
All good. Head back. Cloud's probably getting worried. Nicely done. We make a great team. Go team! I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting you. <laughs> <laughs> Go on ahead and secure the exit.
Not for me. Hurry! Last warning. Back off or die. Understood. The Avalanche mission's been approved. We ought to proceed as planned. <sighs> this is bullshit. What the hell are they thinking? Threats to public order are to be summarily put down. This is what we've always done. Summarily put down. It's a little late to grow a conscience. <sighs> Just on patrol. Don't worry, we'll make it in time. get lost in here. This is the train graveyard, all right. A real treasure trove of scrap. Sector 7 should be just past that large maintenance facility over there. I vote we stay in the light so we can see where we're going. Dark, dark everywhere. That it? It's deserted, and kind of creepy. People don't come around here often. And not just because of the monsters, but because of the stories. What kind? Everyone seems to think that the train graveyard is haunted. Those who lose their way out there in the dark of night will never, ever find their way back home again. <gasps> is that right? I mean, it's not like I think it's true or anything, but you know, it's just... Then let's hurry. Guess I gotta. <laughs> Why would there be kids out here this late? What? Then...
Enough. Get him! That's it. Gotcha. See ya. That's it. <laughs> so long. He's here too. Guys? <laughs> Seriously? Come on, huh? Well, that's inviting. Let's see what's inside. Well, what do you think? Uh. Hmm. I'm game. Huh? Uh, but it'll be fine. We've got a bodyguard, don't forget. Mine. <sighs> right? Ghosts aren't my thing. <sighs> You're just being modest. After you. Mind letting me go then? for a bit.
that thing's dangerous. I know, but even so... Saved us. <sighs> Gonna need to find another way through. This isn't a game. Focus. Trust me, I'm focused. <laughs> Stopping at the Sector 7 train, and is bound for the train graveyard. The train of the train. We stand clear of the closing door. <laughs> up there. It's not working. There's no power coming through. I wonder if this is another prank. Someone might be messing with the power supply to make us run around. On you. Okay, let's go. I got this. 
Take the lead. Just a bit. Go on. I'm pretty sure I saw a door on the other side of this place. I think our only choice may be to find another route. Time for your shit. Do it. Okay. Here. Go on. I think we're almost done. Okay. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Gotta dig deep for this one. I know I have it in me. Get ready! together. for someone to come and play with you. Huh. What are you talking about? <sighs> come on, let's get back to the crane. Just drop the hole. What if they're trapped here and can't leave? we hoped. What a relief. We should be able to get through now. Let's find out. Marlene? And the 
kids that the black wind carries away have to live in the train graveyard forever and ever. So you have to stay far, far away from there. All right then, I will. Oh, you know Betty? Yesterday she went with her daddy to... to... Hmm? When is daddy coming back? Actually, he might not make it home tonight. Marlene, what are you? We can't waste any more time here. What was that about? Nothing you need to worry about. Let's get going. 